Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is something kind of fun for me is that I don't know about you, but lately with all of the new releases, holiday releases, I've been in the mood to update my makeup and get ready kind of for that fall and winter season. So I thought I'd show you all of the things that I've purchased in the last month or so and how I've been using them. So none of these are absolutely positively new to me because I've been using them the last few weeks, but I thought I'd share um, some things I'm loving, some things I'm still on the verge of like figuring out if I like it or not. So yeah, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so one of the new things that I'm trying out is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So I'm in the, I'm in the color shell beige. Um, I don't know. One, they have a huge color range, but I was having trouble finding a perfect match. The first color that they gave me, I ended up taking back. So I'm just putting it on a damp beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. So I have been wearing this for maybe close to a week and I absolutely positively love the stain power of it. Um, it does last all day, which was something that I was, what I was looking for in a new foundation. Um, and I thought I had the color match right. Um, but, I don't know, it looks a little light on camera. The first color I had was a little bit too pinky. The dog playing with the toy. Um, and this is almost on camera looking a little bit too light. Um, but I find that foundation sometimes can be a little bit too warm. It looks lighter on camera than it does actually in my mirror. So, I'm just blend it down. Okay, so again, I'm really liking the coverage and the stain power. That is one thing that I am absolutely loving. Um, one of the things that I'm not loving again, I feel like I haven't yet gotten the correct color. And quite honestly, I wore this a few days ago and I went and got my eyebrows waxed and my waxer, who is also a good friend of mine, had said, did you change foundations? I was like, yeah. And I kind of had to pry the information from her like, is it good, is it bad? And she said it just looked a little bit, she thought it looked a little bit green or yellow on my skin. So then I stopped wearing it the last few days and unsure. So I got it at Nordstrom's and so I am, I may be taking it back. So if you have any recommendations for like a medium to full coverage, that something that lasts, leave it down below. I would love some recommendations. So next, this is not new to me. I am using the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Biscuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in. My makeup and I use so I use the uh, Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is the color translucent. They do have a deeper shade if you have a deeper complexion. I'm just gonna lightly set the rest of my face with it. Again, super lightly, because this foundation does a pretty good job of staying without being set too much. Okay, P.S. side note, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love me some makeup. So, take that with a grain of salt and what I do. Okay, so the next thing that I got, which was super exciting, and I've seen lots of people post on Instagram, on uh, YouTube, is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette. And I got this at Marshall's 
for $19.99. So um, the reason why they've been at Marshalls is that they're redoing the packaging or they redid it. And basically now all of the shade and light comes, I think it's the refillable container and it's that harder um, case. This is a paper case. Um, so again, this was a score. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna go ahead, sorry, I'm trying. And I take a kind of a combination of two colors, kind of these two. And I also take this middle color to, again, kind of set my eyes, just to kind of brighten that up underneath. So I take a combination of the darkest and the middle shade and just kind of, I'm not a huge contour. So I just do a light and just make sure it's really blended in. So I'm really liking this. Again, I don't always contour, but I can usually do something kind of quick on a daily basis. I'm picking up just kind of that middle color to blend it. And then I go ahead and take that middle color and just do a light contouring around neck and chin and just make sure it's all blended in all right so then next I'm gonna go ahead and warm up my face and this foundation with the Too Faced um, Too Faced dark chocolate soleil 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 um, I love this bronzer it's a matte bronzer. I love it. And it smells so good. It smells like delicious chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up the face with that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move on to eyes before I go ahead and put blush on. So... I have seen lots of videos about this, reviews, and I finally bit the bullet. I picked up the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette. And I have been loving it. Like, loving it. Loving it. The colors are absolute gorgeous they're all matte except for this color has a little bit of um, like a sheen to it maybe that's just me but it seems like it does like it's pretty matte more satiny matte um, and I have just found that the colors blend well they're really pigmented and I was a bit nervous of like these kind of shades right here these kind of like pinkier ones that I thought I don't know that I'll get a lot of use out of but they have been making my eyes like pop so I am just right now putting on a primer which is the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base just kind of to help my eyeshadow stay for a longer period of time I really want to try the Smashbox one I've heard really good things about it okay and I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the color right here peach butter and what I've been actually doing is putting peach butter here to kind of set that upper part and then actually I've been taking this um, this shade right here which is the l right here which is the lightest shade and it's called peach meringue and putting that on the lid so I really kind of like a a base that's a little bit more opaque and I find that works kind of the best for me okay so love it okay so next up I've been taking um, a big fluffy brush this is the Sigma tapered blending brush in the E40 and I'm going to take this color. I'm going to show you the colors that I've been using that are just a bit more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this color right here. 
which is peach cobbler. Get that in and put that in my as my transition stream. Okay, so I've just laid down that transition shade and blended it really, really well. And I'm going to take a, another taper brush, a little bit smaller. I'm using the Sigma Taper Blending Brush in E35. And I'm actually gonna pick up this color right here, which I was super afraid of, right there. And that color is Peach Punch. And put just that in, in the crease right here and blend that out. So I'm gonna put it right below where I put that transition shade. Okay, so I just kind of blended that color just below where I put that transition color. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that first brush I used and just make sure everything is smooth and blended and seamless. Okay, next I'm gonna take on my MAC 217 brush is Peach Sangria, which is right here. I am loving this color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it and just kind of place it on that outer V. Place it down there and just to really deepen up that corner and then blend it in. Okay, so as you can see, I just really deepened up that outer corner. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take again that first brush. It doesn't have any color on it any more color on it and just really blend that out. Okay, so I wear this and if you're like me and things get a little bit messy, you can put a little powder there to kind of clean it up. But I just take my blue, my beauty blender, my uh, beauty blender and just kind of just soften those edges up just a touch. So I love this for like daytime and I think it's really pretty, but you could even take it a step further if you wanted to really darken it and use this color. I'm going to use this color right here, Peach Heart. Just put a little bit on this blending brush, E36. It's very, very small. And just kind of, I'm just kind of really focus on that outer corner. Okay, and we just kind of deepened up that outer V. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I'm super duper loving this entire palette. I feel like you can get a lot of different looks. I did for this kind of um, haul is that these kind of colors that I was a little bit more terrified of, and they really just come off looking really pretty. Um, so I've been really, really happy with this palette, and I'm so glad I'm just gonna take one more little blending area and I'm just really glad that I kind of bit the bullet and purchased it because I have been literally using this every single day so next up I purchased this actually came as a recommendation from my mom one of her co-workers had this blush and she really liked it and it's the NARS um, blush it's a NARS blush and outlaw and it's so pretty. I just thought, I tend to wear in kind of neuter colors, not neuter colors, but softer peaches, um, muted kind of blush tones, but this one thought would be really pretty for, for fall. Now, I wouldn't necessarily wear this blush with this eye look because it's got a lot of stuff going on, but as what I'm using from what I've purchased, I thought I'd incorporate it. And this is definitely something that's buildable and you have to kind of have a light hand. The first time I used it, girl, I had to blend for a while. 
I'm not breaking anything. I'll tell you. Um, just really have to blend it. So as long as you kind of have a light hand, I can, you can kind of see that um, it can look pretty natural. And it has a little bit of shimmer, but not as much as like orgasm. So yeah, I've been liking it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this eye look up. I just kind of got a little bit messy. Now typically I wouldn't recommend doing this because we put powder on, but I'm kind of see I'm gonna take a little bit of just kind of clean that up just a touch. Okay. Perfect. I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Okay. So next up, what I purchased is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. I just ran out of the eyeliner that I was using and I've heard really good things about this so I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my liner on. Guys, I literally like blinked or flinched and I just got liner all over my lid. Okay, I have literally only played around with this maybe one time, but this goes on so easily. Like, I usually might have to tug a little for eyeliner, but this went on really, really nicely. So I'm just gonna do a little wing. Okay, eyeliner done. That wasn't maybe the best job I've ever done. I should have actually gone to an actual mirror, but I tried to do it right here in front of the camera. But I have to say, if you are not an expert, if you're not an expert at wing liner and have been wanting to try something and been looking for a good line, and been looking for a good liner to try, I would actually really recommend this. It goes on really, really well, glides on really easily, matte, super black. I really, really like it, and I can see myself if I run out to repurchase this one. So, next I'm gonna do eyebrows. I am not using any new products. Um, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Medium Brown, along with the actual Anastasia brush, number 12. Okay, brows done. Again, I have pretty thick eyebrows, so all I'm doing is kind of filling in where there's a little bit of sparseness. Is that even a word? Where they're a little bit sparse? And then I'm using the Gimme Brow by Benefit just to get everything in place in the color five. There we go. I'm just gonna comb through them one more time. Make sure everything's where it should be. And we're good. So the last few things we're gonna do is one, I got some new highlighter. I'm gonna do um, mascara next. And so I found this at Rite Aid. It's it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar, and Holly Goldhead is the color. It has this cute little star in it, and how cute is this, you guys? It looks like wet beneath. Now it's not gonna work, because I'm trying to show you. <laughs> That's because I'm trying to open it the wrong way. Look how cute that there's a little mirror in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead with this and I'd like to take a little bit of that pink in there and go ahead look look how pretty that is so gorgeous I'm just gonna put a little bit of a, a little on my nose to make it look a little cute and I like humans though okay so the next thing I got is I've heard so many people talk about the essence lash princess false effect Mascara. Uh, I don't know if 
I love it, you guys. People rave about it, and I, I like it. But I don't feel like it like does anything for my lashes as much as I'd like them to. So this is what they look like. I don't know. I like something that does a little bit more lengthening and volume. And these kind of do the volume but not the lengthening. I don't know, you guys. So I have really short eyelashes. So you, if you know any really good eye if you know any really if you know any really good mascaras that are good at lengthening let me know down below i'm always looking for a good mascara so last but certainly not least in some of my favorite parts of the fall season is lippies so i have actually a few here that i have been trying and one i have not tried yet so excited to show you that today is i'm so i've been trying to find some deeper colors that would be great for fall um again i'm a nude rosy kind of your lips but better kind of girl but i'm definitely feeling the fall vibes and having something a little bit darker so i picked up four different lipsticks so the first one is mac and whirl and i have been wearing this i'll show you so often like it's still not super dark but it has that rosiness and deepness of fall and I have been loving it I can literally just throw it on and be good to go and this is a matte lipstick but it is very comfortable the next one which I have been loving is it's the bite beauty a mouge bouge lipstick in the color chai you guys, this is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead. It's a little bit more on the terracotta side, but like how pretty is that? It is so pretty. So I tend to say that those are kind of my fall everyday lippies that I've been loving, but I picked up this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Voyager. And I definitely love the formula. Love the doe foot applicator. Love the smell. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. And the color is this beautiful, well, made my knuckle really pretty. Um, deep red with a hint of like blue burgundy. And I think that's going to look stunning on a night out. But I also picked up something else that I have seen around YouTube and have been wanting to try. And I don't know about you, but I have the world's chaffest lips. Like, they're always peeling. They're always not great. So it makes wearing matte lipsticks a little bit difficult. And it just gets worse in the winter. If you have any suggestions on how to get smooth lips, let me know. I'm in need of some advice. So I thought I'd pick up a gloss. And I went for the Fenty Beauty gloss. And the color is called Fenty Glow. It's just one color. I have not tried it on yet, you guys. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while. Kind of a your lips, but better. Ooh, it has a huge doe foot. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand. It's a shiny kind of nude. It has a flex of sparkle. No, I am not a gloss girl lately, but I thought for winter, a nice thorough on. I love it. I love the color. It is stunning. Hmm. Kind of smells like a creamsicle orange vanilla. I don't know. Maybe it was another one, but I... I'm a, I'm so sure that all out, sorry, wrong finger. Um, I'm loving it, you guys. Loving it. So this is kind of my fall look using a lot of the stuff that I kind of have been getting over the last month that have given me those fall vibes. And I am loving this 
and I'm really happy with all of the stuff that I've purchased. The only thing that I am on the fence about is the foundation. I, I mean, we definitely warmed it up, but I don't know. I just don't feel like it's matching my undertones. Let me know what you think, or if you know a good kind of matte-ish, not super matte, because I still like a little bit of glow um, foundation that lasts a long time. So I need some help, ladies, in that department and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I had so much fun sharing with you what I purchased over the last month and what I'm getting excited for for fall. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.